Um, today's brain drops is actually based off an interesting headline I saw in the Portland Press Herald that uh, Golden is is trying to push back this idea of additional um, lobster trap regulations. Um, and and this, here's where this comes from, and it gets into science here very quickly. So this comes from right whale populations. So they're trying to, to put in place more uh, regulations to stop entanglements for right whales because their population has been declining and they're endangered, of course. They, they actually bought them out in 1990 at 268 of them wow. worldwide. Okay, so within that, these are the entanglement deaths, and as you can see, they're, they've been pretty pretty strong the next, the last couple of years. So where does the science part come into this? Uh, Golden is saying that the tool that's used to predict entanglements is not peer-reviewed, and we talk about peer-reviewed a lot mm -hmm. here. And he's right, um, NOAA has not run this through a third-party peer review process. Part of the reason for that is it's new, it's experimental, it's gonna take two to three years for that to happen. This is the data it spits out, it shows you right whale uh, locations, and then the next graphic that we're gonna show you is where all the traps are. So fishermen are saying most of our traps are densely right along the coastline, the right whale population for the most part is farther offshore. In addition to this, they cannot tell when uh, whales are entangled, if they're being entangled in United States traps or if they're from Canada. Mm. And so there's some argument about that too. But this is an interesting juxtaposition of, he is correct that it's not completely peer reviewed and, and that's usually something you've gotta watch out for. Sometimes when things are in flux, you end up having to use your best available scientific data. And that's the way to phrase this, mm -hmm. as opposed to something like climate change we study for 60, 65 years. And the other thing to look at is this is where the tool comes from. And so there's lots of different branches and interests coming together with this data, including the United States Navy. So that's a good sign. There's mm -hmm. gonna be no bias in this data, but there could be more of it. Interesting question as to do you proceed based on what you know? Uh, it's been a tough year for lobstermen, so do you put more regulations in? I don't have an answer to that, but I thought it was interesting um, where this tool was at, sure. what they can do to make it better. It's probably going to take two or three years, so they'll have to decide if they can, they can wait that long. Very interesting, Keith.